Tonight, we're asking the tough questions to a local assembly member after he shared concerning posts on social media. To your side, investigative reporter Charlie Speck joins us in studio now to explain this story. Charlie. Scott, if you go on Assemblyman Dave DiPietro's Facebook page, you'll find dozens of videos from the pastor of a church in Amherst. The problem for DiPietro is that those videos include racial tropes and phrases that are offensive to members of multiple religions and ethnic groups. The Buffalo News on Friday reported that Assemblyman David DiPietro repeatedly shared on social media the views of an Amherst pastor who used racial slurs and disparaged Muslims, Hindus, and Catholics. Pastor Michael Caesar, a former doctor who lost his medical license in 2010, was blistering in his critique of the Virgin Mary. Let me just say this. I hate the Roman Catholic Church because we that love the Lord hate evil, and that's the mother of harlots. He also used racial tropes to describe Muslims and said the nearly 3,000 victims of the September 11th terrorist attacks were to blame for their own deaths. They haven't taken life and death seriously. They haven't paid attention to what I said. It's on their head, not mine. DiPietro last month shared the hour-long video on his own Facebook page, writing, This is a fantastic teaching. If you want to know where you are going, heaven or hell, what really happens? Campaign finance reports show DiPietro, an East Aurora Republican, has given more than $1,800 to Caesar's church in the last four years. He fled a news conference Friday when we asked him about the comments. There was a story in the Buffalo News. I'll have a morning. comment at 2 o'clock this afternoon. But Thank you. Why won't you answer questions about this? Because I think it's a bunch of crap. It was a <laughs> horrible hit piece. Do you denounce the rhetoric from this pastor? I sent out a statement at 2 o'clock. Thank you. DiPietro then ran to his car when he saw our cameras approaching. Don't you think your constituents deserve an answer? Tell me, please. Don't you think your constituents deserve an answer? DiPietro later in the day released a statement saying, I have always championed the values of respect, understanding, and coexistence among people of all faiths. Our actions speak louder than words, and we stand firmly against any form of intolerance. Erie County Republican Chairman Michael Crocker defended DiPietro. What would you say to people who look at this issue and say, well, this plays into the idea that's being pushed by his Democratic opponents that he's more of a sideshow than a serious legislator. Clearly, they wouldn't understand his constituents because his constituents appreciate the work that he does for them in Albany. They appreciate the work that he does for them here in Erie County and in Wyoming County. But Dr. Khalid Kazi, president of the Muslim Public Affairs Council, says the rhetoric is offensive and only divides people in our region. To uh, denigrate their faith the way the uh, pastor is, and then promoting that uh, message by the assemblyman, you know, speaks a lot about the personality of these people as to who they are and what their thinking is. Now, Pastor Caesar declined to comment further when I spoke with him on the phone this afternoon. He instead referred me to videos that he has posted online. Live on your side in Buffalo, Charlie Speck, Channel 2 News. Charlie